Hey everyone, we're back with another video of Dragon's Rise of Berkti. How to train your dragon mobile game. We got a brand new dragon today, or maybe two brand new. Well, actually, it's one brand new dragon, but two copies. Essentially, I was searching this for this dragon for over a week. And I couldn't get this dragon. And I don't know why this week it was either luck or something. But we got both of them and they both hatch. I think it, it took about 1 day and 12 hours. Somewhere around there. I, I don't quite exactly remember. But it, it should be in one of the videos. But here it is. We got two of it. And I didn't really want two. I, I actually just wanted one. Unfortunately... Uh, after getting it, I tried to go for a storm cutter, which was which was a uh, cloud jumper species, and you know they actually were in the same area. And what happened was I got another copy. So here it is. If you want to get this dragon, I recommend you try to go for the storm cutter instead, because hey, what's the point of getting? This is a rare dragon. What's the point of getting a rare dragon if you're gonna look for a storm cutter and then? You have a chance of getting it as well. So anyways, here it is and we're going to try to place it. Yeah, it is in the same area where Cloud Jumper, not Cloud Jumper, uh, the Storm Cutter is. Alright, we don't have enough space so we're going to have to put a dragon into a slot. Sorry Stormfly, well, we'll have to put you away. Alright, so here it is. And we're going to put it into the slot that Stormfly was. Alright, so there's the egg if you're wondering. And there it is. Alright, there it is. A purple looking dragon. This Now this dragon reminds me of Stormfly. I don't know why. Maybe it's a design. Maybe it's something else. But I don't know. It, it just reminds me of Stormfly somehow. And we're going to check out his roar. So that's what he sounds like. He you know, sounds like every other baby dragon kind of burping and making some weird sound. And we're going to feed it. And we're going to feed it again. Alright, we'll feed it one more time. Alright, so there it is. It does remind me of Stormfly. If you look at it here, or the Natter, at least, at least the Natter. Well, not exactly. Now that I look at it, it looks <laughs> a lot different. Maybe a Natter without spikes. No way, those were Titan Natters. That's why it looks so, so much different. Alright, so this reminds me of the Natter. Maybe it's the body kind of shape. It looks like that. It looks very similar. Now, I don't know what it's going to look like in... In Titan form of course I haven't seen this dragon in Titan form yet so I don't know when we do look at him in Titan form then we'll probably figure it out so putting him into the the uh, island he just kind of walks around like that we're gonna tap on him and make him fly and we're gonna listen to him roar all right this sounds this actually sounds pretty nice because it starts off with a really powerful roar and then kind of ends off with a squeak. So it's relatively different and I think it suits this dragon a lot. I mean, it, it kind of makes it look like it's medium sized because usually that's what medium sized dragons do. Alright, let's put him down. So he kind of flies down like that. He has like a purple blue aura on its wings you'll notice that as well well that's on its wings on his body is more like stripes there and let's try to get him to roar again get him up there yeah it just reminds me of the natter i'm not sure why but let's send him into training that's one thing that we need to do it looks like it's going to take two hours and 30 minutes that's a very long time so newer dragons, they just take a really, really long time to do their stuff, to train. And he's only level, yeah, level three, and he's gonna take two hours and thirty minutes. I can't, I can't imagine the other levels. I mean, what if it, it's gonna take like twenty-four hours for a level ten? 
So, the new dragons, or the rarer the dragon is, the more time it's going to take. Alright, so we just sent this guy off. Let's send him to collect food instead. Alright. Now the Typhoomerang. I don't know why. I just don't like the Typhoomerang. He he just doesn't get that much food. I mean, I like the Typhoomerang. I mean, I like Torch. But in terms of collecting money or collecting wood, he's staggering behind. And so is the Timberjack. I mean, I, I guess he's going to take less time, but usually I don't come back in this game like every 10 minutes anymore. I used to come back every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes, and then it became 10 minutes, and now it's become like at least 4 or 6 hours. And usually when I come back, what happened is, hey, if it's a Titan, we'll get a million. We'll get a, either a million food or a million something. And that's something I really get used to now. If they don't get a million, it really disappoints me. Unless it's like this guy. The Monstrous Nightmare. You cannot blame the Monstrous Nightmare. Because the monster Monstrous Nightmare is one of the beginning dragons. And so is this one. They're really easy to train into Titan. That's why I don't blame them that much. But the Timberjack and Typhoomerang. They're both Titans right now. And... They actually took quite a bit of time to get them into Titan form. And I expected something a bit more. Unfortunately, that's not what's happening. So, anyways. Let's get over here. Let's see who we can send into Titan training. Actually, this guy should be able to get there. Okay, so, he, so someone's busy there. I thought we have two academies. Oh, one of the guys is... Who is that? Uh, who is the other guy in there anyways? Alright, so I'm just going to take a look at who's training there. I mean, I thought everyone is out. So you have... Oh, okay, the desert. Okay, okay, okay. So, that's what's there. That's what's training. Let's, let's check out if we can upgrade this. Oh, okay. So we need... Let's build more titans, or I mean viking kind of space things. Alright, again, this is really disappointing. This thing is just taking too much space up. And that costs a lot of wood. Alright, so that is pretty much it. I know that... The Thunder Drum has actually finished his Titan training for quite a long time now. And so is this guy. Anyways, let's send these guys on to their food search. So he'll come back whenever we come back. Alright, that is about it. And that is the baby form and adult form of this dragon. We'll come back in the next video. We'll take a look at these Titan Dragons that are actually sitting... They have been sitting there for a really long while. We really need to come back and finish these Titans because it's not good to just leave them there. Anyways, that is about it for this video. We'll continue on with the next video of Dragons Rides of Berkeley. How to Train Your Dragon Mobile Game. We'll try to do some more Titans. I know this guy's Titan. And then I think we the, the Scaldi, this guy can go Titan pretty much after we send him into training. And then we feed him a bit more. The Thunder Drum, I think that's definitely one of the things we should take a look at as well. 